Hello, I'm John Eros and welcome to another episode of my franchise zoo. In this episode we're gonna finish the exhibit hall. The building time was longer than I thought, but I didn't want to have three episodes of building the same hall, so I sped up the episode a lot, so I hope you can follow. So after adding some pillars, I'm gonna continue on the outside of the wall and on the top that's gonna be on both sides. Because I'm using double-sided walls, I need to place four pieces of the opaque glass wall to avoid uh, gaps. the same color trim at all windows in the middle
door I made earlier, I'm just changing it up a little. Now for a boring test, but one that's gonna be always worth it, adding the mold. to create some height difference.
I left a spot to make a nice waterfall. I'm gonna copy it and paste it on the other side as well and change it up a little bit. And the spots next to the shop also deserve a nice rock feature. Easy curves to hide the spots that people can't walk. And I'm gonna add more ivy on the walls. some walls to the staff area in the middle.
Here I'm gonna add some wooden pieces to break up the uh, stone look of the wall. Here I'm starting on some roof covering and I'm gonna make the same kind of sun shading all around. It's a lot of work but it's really worth the effort you put into it.
gonna play some of the Australian wooden walls to break up the look of the walls even more. And I'm gonna use a lighter wood frame around that. The outside walls are also going to get the ivy in the same style as the inside has. And here I'm making a planter all around. Because this part is low to the ground, I'm using terrain paint instead of mulch. Here I'm placing some benches and picnic tables and I'm gonna cover them up with the same kind of type of earlier. I never know what's a good location for the exhibit signs. I guess above it is the best one. It's poking a little through, but not that much. And like this, you don't see it. So I guess it's fine like this.
I'm going to use some of the mist effect above the water so it looks hot and steamy. The walls are a bit empty here, so I'm just going to use uh, education boards. Here I'm going to uh, hide away some donation boxes inside the wall. And I will do that with the trash cans as well, so they're not in view of the guests. After adding the roof I realized I didn't have lighting yet, uh, so I'm going to add lighting under all uh, plant features and uh, at all exit windows. So at this point the build was done, uh, all the lighting was in and it was uh, finished, but the game had a big surprise for me, it crashed and I had to do uh, part of it all over, uh, so I will do uh, parts that are erased off camera and I will see you uh, when it's rebuilt. So everything is back, I also made an entry sign. 
So let's have one last flyover and end this episode. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.